Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. A new COVID-related social distancing level to take effect from May 3rd will be announced today. Until May 2nd, the level stayed at level 2 in Seoul and the surrounding areas and 1.5 in the rest of the country. The number of newly confirmed coronavirus cases has hovered above 600 in the past week. And according to the government's social distancing level standards, health authorities may consider elevating the level to 2.5 when the weekly average is around 400 to 500 new cases. The National Security Council will bolster diplomatic efforts to make progress in the Korean Peninsula peace process and further solidify the ROC-US alliance through a Moon-Biden summit scheduled for late May. The NSC Standing Committee held a meeting presided by National Security Advisor Seo Hoon yesterday and agreed on the need for swift resumption of dialogue between the two Koreas as well as the North and the U.S. under close coordination between Seoul and Washington. The so-called Conflict of Interest Prevention Law, or 이해충돌 방지법 in Korean, passed the National Assembly yesterday, prohibiting some 1.9 million public officials, including lawmakers, from seeking personal gains based on information gathered while on duty. This law also stipulates that public officials that have retired within three years will not be able to use undisclosed information obtained from their job responsibilities. Similar anti-graph laws were proposed over the past years in vain, but it looks like the massive LH land speculation scandal and the devastating losses uh, suffered by the ruling Democratic Party provided a decisive, momentous boost for the long-stalled bill's parliamentary passage. The new law will go into effect one year after it gets promulgated. Finally, Japan said it will decide whether to allow local spectators at the Tokyo Olympics in early June, just a month before the Games are set to kick off. This decision has been postponed in light of a third state of emergency declared in Tokyo due to soaring COVID cases. Tokyo is determined to host the Games even without spectators, but is having a hard time securing local medical staff to provide much-needed support during the Games. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, pop and culture, followed by the expected impact of the recent ASEAN summit on the current Myanmar military crackdown.